Hello, this is Christopher with InMotion Hosting and a new video in our WooCommerce series. In this video I'll show you how you can set up variable products in WooCommerce. Product variations let you adjust specific product options such as sizes, colors, prices, and of course stock as well, and much more. We'll start here on our WordPress dashboard. In our example, we'll be using an InMotion Hosting shirt as the variable product. And our variations will be based on size. Before we can add the shirt as a product, we need to set up the size attributes, which will be used as our variable. So under Products, choose Attributes. And fill in the name of your attribute. I'm putting in Size. If you're going to use this attribute often, and the sizes will always be the same, then you should leave the type of your attribute as select. This way you'll be automatically prompted later to use the same values, and I'll demonstrate exactly what that means later. The default sort order will determine how your attributes will be displayed with your product. If you leave it as custom ordering, you'll be able to drag and drop each item into an order you prefer and I'll also demonstrate that later. For now, we'll add our size attributes. Click Add Attribute to add size. You'll see it appears on the right here. And to add new sizes, just click on the size attribute. Now we're editing the size attribute. Under Add New Size, I'll start putting in our sizes as small, medium, and large. After you've added one attribute, click Add New. In this case, it's size, so it'll say Add New Size, but that will change depending on the name of your attribute. So click Add New Size to add small. Now we'll do medium and large. And now to demonstrate our custom ordering here that we set under the default sort order, you'll see I can drag and drop these to get them organized in the scheme I prefer, which is small first, then medium and large. Now that we've set up size as an attribute, we can use this later as a product variable. So now we'll add our InMotion Hosting shirt as a variable product. So click on Products on the left panel. And click Add Product. I'll just fill in the product name in a brief description. Under Product Data, we'll set this to a variable product. Make sure to put in an SKU stock keeping unit, otherwise the product will display as out of stock. So under the Inventory tab, just put in your stock keeping unit. then choose Attributes, then choose the Attributes tab, here you can add a custom attribute on the fly or choose the one we already made for size and then click Add. 
I'm going to choose our size attribute. And I'll click add. Uncheck visible on the product page and check use for variations. And you may remember before when we set our attribute type to select. Under values, choose select all and you'll see our values will populate automatically. Make sure to click save attributes. Then you can proceed to the variations tab where you can finally apply these attributes to the product as product variables. So now you can select from the add variation drop down here and click go. Since we have three variations for small, medium, and large, and we want to give each one some different options, I'll add the two extra variations and click go two more times. And I'll change each one of these in the drop down to small, medium, and large. And here I'll demonstrate how you can give different options to each of these. For this example, we'll just use price, and we'll assign a different price to each one of these. To edit these, you'll just click the little arrow on the right here. And I'll put in a regular price and increase it with each one. And once you have configured different options for each one, go down to the bottom and click Save Changes. And while we're here, we'll just add an image of our shirt. To add an image for the shirt, just go to the right here. Under the Publish options, you'll see Product Image. Click Set Product Image and select your file from your media library. you see my picture of the InMotion hosting shirt here. Once you've selected it, go down to the right here and set product image again. Now we're ready to publish our shirt. On the right panel here, click Publish. And we have the option here to view our product. Here's the InMotion hosting shirt. You can see it varies in price from $5 to $15, and we can choose our size, small, medium, or large. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you may like and subscribe below, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.